Hello guys, Ronnie here and welcome to your uh, eighth jQuery video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, we are going to look at the um, uh, equal. Um, we also are going to look at the greater than and the le less than. So what I'm talking about is something like this. Uh, let's say you had an unordered list. Let me just go ahead and create an unordered list right here. and say uh, unordered list. Uh, okay, give it space. You know, organization is the number one thing as far as uh, jQuery is concerned. You want know, to mix up your code. So, okay, so um, I'll have like let's say four an order lists, four uh, lists. Let's say lady. Maybe I should just copy and paste it instead of typing it. And I say home. Um, you know, about us. Um, policy. Contact. Stuff like that. It's not really, it doesn't make any sense right now, but well. So if I refresh the page about us policy, first of all, I need to do something here. I need to uh, save that as it is. Refresh it. Well, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about that. It's just uh, okay. All right. So um, home about us privacy policy. That's what I have in our page right here. So um. Let's say you wanted to uh, select an index that is equal to, uh, you wanted to select the first element, which is home right here. Now, according to the, uh, the indexes of, uh, in jQuery, zero means the first element, one means the second one, two means the third one. So index starts at zero. Now, let's say, for example, we wanted to maybe change the background color or hide or whatever with the first element which is zero you know our index case here so we'll just simply say um uh it's it's, it's a paragraph right nice so it's a another list we just say ul ul means this ul we we'll select this we want to be specific uh, Sorry, I want to be specific when, se uh, when selecting this. This just being, it's not necessary, but it's just, uh, you know, important sometimes. And it's a list, and uh, we use the colon, and we say uh, equals, EQ, use the EQ sign. So keep that in mind, and we say zero. And we want to do what? We want to hide it. So we just save it, save everything, and uh, if we refresh it, it's gone. It's hidden. You can change the background color if you like. CSS or whatever. Well, uh, let me just do this once more. And say color. I love green. And I love nature. And when I refresh it, see the color change to green. Well, now that is equal the equal uh, selector now we also have greater than so it, let's say for example we want all the indexes uh, start, um, starting from the second one so we want to say greater than zero means after the first element I hope you get the point right so after we say um, GT, which means greater than, I'm sorry about that. Say GT, GT0, change the color. And if we refresh the page, it starts changing color from there. And if you want to say less than, uh, we cannot say less than the first element because we don't, have, we don't have anything on top of it. So we just say maybe less than uh, Two, maybe the third element or something is going to be zero, one, two. So we're going to say two. And to say less than, we use LT. 
L2 and we'll say uh, um, 0, 1, 2 is a 2, yeah. We save it and when we refresh the page, the two tops are color changed. So that is it for this video tutorial. In the next video, we are going to look at the not selector and uh, maybe some other more. Uh, so thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you practice, practice what I've just uh, shown you if you're new to this. And uh, also make sure you subscribe because I have cool content coming up, uh, cool videos. And uh, share, comment, like, dislike. Um, well, your opinion matters. Thank you.